on me now. Two laps to go, I think. He's going to try to go for me. That last corner. Shit. Four right here. And inside pass line. Inside, but get, get on the throttle. Here we go. You fucking asshole! Everybody. It is Wednesday. I am back at my shop bins. A lot of work still to do on Merlin. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't like rushing mechanical work because obviously our life is on the line. But I'm really interested in doing a Lorenzo racing. Essentially, if you don't know, Lorenzo went in the last MotoGP in Britain. And just to, you know, get a feel for the bike and get his body back working. So I want to do the same thing. Hopefully break even with like a fourth place finish, which pays me 500 bucks. <laughs> but I really just want to test the bike and, you know, before I possibly head to California and maybe do a CVMA later on when everything is all buttoned up and my thumb is feeling better. I uh, got Motoko the Ninja off of my truck carrier. And now I gotta take the carrier off of the hitch of the truck here. So that's the next step, right? And uh, there's a few bolts you gotta take out with the bottom that hold it from vibrating and moving around. So those bolts right there. That one's already loose. That one is, I need to replace that bolt. Anyways, that's it. All right, yeah, look at that one, it's super twisted. It was twisted when I got it. This is Q-Man's uh, old little carrier that he had when he had a dirt bike before he got into the side-by-side -side world. So let's get this aluminum thing out of here. And if you don't know, just another episode of Fixing Merlin. My name is Marcel Ernie, Superbike Wanderer, Canadian Superbike Racer. And uh, I got a student. David on Friday with two fast track days. I'll be teaching him one-on-one -on -one and he has a Ninja 400. He's a racer and I'll be rocking Motoko and uh, I'm trying to get Merlin ready so I can race Saturday and Sunday looks like rain so just want to and the Saturday is the money race so I'll have like no practice no I gotta change gearing there's so much work to be done. Lock tight. These are the pinch bolts. One-handed. There's the negative. Get that Shri battery back in there and we'll hopefully the dash and all the buttons work. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it just goes right in there. Obviously because the plate was so bent, it might have a little difficulty, but... Okay, the moment. Okay, my buttons. Let's see. Bam. 
Okay, we got range. Trip. 240. Could do Saturday up to like 350 and get away with that, so that's not too bad. Trip, yeah, 240 kilometers on the current Amsoil 1040 MCF. And okay, so that button 12,909 kilometers. Okay. And down the bottom button. Okay, so the race info, perfect setup menu. All right, so let's go back to uh, what we want to have on here is range, okay? So those two buttons worked. Now the DTC, one and down, perfect. So those are working. And what were the bottom buttons again? I don't remember. <laughs> Gotta look at the uh, one of my other things. Oh yeah, probably, the, oh yeah, and then the mode button, that's the change from slick, so when I if I ever need rain mode. So yeah, we're good to go. Uh, oh. I could start the bike, but I'm kind of afraid. Alright, oh, it's tough for my thumb. This is for those rubber bushings I use to give me more height. I'm using Shugu. Shugu is your friend. See, these guys. There we go. Let those dry. Okay, fitting the tail, and yeah, problem right off the bat. If it's on the tail bolts, there's a, obviously a large gap here. The tail needs to come up higher, so I gotta hammer those things up, like, up higher. You know, for sitting down in the, in the hole, there it is, but to get the front down, it's gotta come up like that. So yeah, it could be like a centimeter, no, even an inch up. So let's get the hammer out again. Gotta go up higher. Damn, okay. Maybe I should do this on, yeah, cause it's too much shake in the bolt holes. Gotta pull it off. Okay, there we are. So right now we're pretty much level. You can see that. So we need to go up higher. Something like, something like that. Hmm. Yeah, so it needs to come forward a little bit. You can see the hole back there. And up a little more on the one side, it's kind of tippy-toppy. So, <laughs> nice custom words. Okay, off camera, I've been struggling to get it correct. What I've done is actually hammered this down from this corner to get it more square to get the bolts down. And then I went up a bunch. You can see right there, look how much more up. So back at it. All right, this is gonna be it. Regardless, I'm out of time. If I want any chance of racing, I gotta get this done. Okay. Well, I gotta do a lot of work on those bolts because they are actually crooked. I gotta straighten out the actual end mount and twist it somehow. But for now, it is on and it is not gonna fall off. And I just remembered I have a family doctor appointment today. God damn it, I gotta get doing that too now. Ugh, so much to do. Okay, before I go to the doctors, for my follow up, let's see what the bike sounds like. Let's hope it starts. Uh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Last idle.
residue on the pipe. Probably because the bike was upside down. tires before my accident. How lame was that? Look at this. Oh. I had the bike loaded up, ready to go for when I was after racing Mission Raceway. And it's still smoking. This oil residue. Yeah, like I was saying, I had the dirt bike, all my dirt bike gear, everything prepped, bike maintained, ready to go, and I was going to dirt bike Mission BC. I made some friends up there with a house right in the woods, too, uh, on my Northern Life Forum, actually, they invited me out there. And uh, look at that, it just sits there, brand new freaking tires, moose in there. What a waste. Okay, I got to get, I, I don't have time for the truck, so I'm going to take Motoko. And off we go to Dr. Adams, Kelowna Beast. All right, Motoko. Let's let's get it. Let's get moving. And I'm back from the doctors. Got an x-ray follow-up for the thumb. Okay. Oh. I'm not sure if I should even race this thing. Yeah. I got. I should be working on the trailer. I got to check the trailer bearings. You know, every trip I do that now after losing a wheel twice. Plus I have to pay for race insurance and then there's no practice. Like we have one, two 10 minute practices Saturday morning and then the money race is the first race at noon. You know, so it's definitely, uh, I just realized an extra $200 for insurance. So that kind of makes me think if I should be rushing to even make this or not. I do want to test out that damper and make sure all the bikes sorted, but I really need a track day and I'll be teaching on the 400. So. Anyways, let's keep going. Just found that rock, which is pretty funny. Um, I'm gonna throw on the main bodywork now, see if it fits on the fairing stay and the uh, front fender. Okay. Well, seems okay. I think that'll work just fine. Oh. And the holes line up. Decent enough. That will work. That will work. Okay. Got to get the windscreen on now. Bodywork bolts. Forward the bodywork. Awesome. <laughs> I forgot. My buddy Brad, fellow superbike racer from Chuck Walla Racing, just invited me to Maui. He's moving to Maui and he's got some guest bedrooms. Who here has been to Hawaii? That might be a good winter time, eh? <sighs> Guys, it's hours later. I'm just getting back to work on the BMW. I got a MRA, MRA windscreen and I threw in the well nuts, the little rubber well nuts. And uh, it's gonna bolt on just fine. I have to change the gearing on the motorcycle. I got like gearing from Mission right now with like a 15 front. So I gotta put a 16 on there. I have to look at my notes. Let's take a look at what's going on, guys. There's the Duramax LMM Northern Light 10 2, 16 foot enclosed trailer. Been packing away here. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I need to grab one more tire warmer, that's right. So I got all the helmets ready to go. I got a student on Friday and he's gonna be a medium or small. He's kind of right between the two sizes of like 55, 56 centimeters, 57, I can't remember. But, uh, and then there's the canopies. I figure I bring all the helmets just, why not? You know, in case, uh, whatever. Maybe I'll change my mind and I'll go to California. Oh, I gotta lock those up. Those are all packed with tools, or I mean parts now. And I got the bins, some fuel cans going in here. BMX hanging on the roof. The Ninja 400 is in. Of course, you know I gotta, if you don't know, I got tools in here, just a specialty set all ready to go for motorcycle racing. Bolts, 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 parts, parts. Oh yeah, I got uh, the one impact is also in my truck. And yeah, more stuff. I feel like I'm missing something. There was a space here that I filled with this. I don't remember what went there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Took a lot of stuff out. I'm running out of dime. You know, and then here's like a good old general drawer. More tools. You gotta have a hot pit and a cold pit when you're racing professional superbike. Oh no, I'm missing something there too. Oh man, what am I missing right there? Hmm. Well, it won't really matter, I guess. Until I need it. What did I take out? More stuff. Oh, this brush is not letting me shut the drawer. And the final one on the top. Yeah, and, and then the top, and then yeah, all the tires and everything else, but I don't know what's going to go on this weekend. Maybe I'll race, maybe I won't. All right, it's getting late. The sun is going down. There it is, it's getting lower. While we're out here, might as well, who remembers that truck? And who remembers that car? There's my uh, 9973 Power Stroke, and then the 94 Mazda Miata Rally Car. Okay, let me go find what I'm missing and get that windscreen put on. So shiny clean. See-through, not shiny. Update. Windscreen is on, guys. It's bolted down. In position. Bam. Holy smokes. Okay, front fender's going on. I'm gonna make it. I gotta leave. I gotta leave today, tonight. Oh, I did it, guys. Well, not yet. It's just floating here. I'm gonna put the, the bowl and then run her into this thing here. Just to pull the front end over a little bit. Pull the rear wheel over it slightly. Ah, too much, probably. Okay, it's good. <sighs> well, one side's in. <laughs> uh, life troubles. My thumb is so sore. I'm supposed to be icing it after the physio. I haven't done it once. And because this stand is my new favorite for the BMW. Look what I did, a couple little quick release pins. One handed. Pull the center leg out. And now, oh, I can carry it and put it into the trailer underneath the toolbox. Easy peasy. I should have done this before, maybe. Oh, it rotates around the toolbox in the corner right there. Okay, before going, I don't want to lose another wheel into a car, so I went and checked the wheel bearings, and I noticed this side was just, just look at that. Come, come a little closer with that, the Note 9. Let's try, let's try to listen. Quentin, you're making too much noise. So it's moving around like a full millimeter and a half. And that's too much. We want just the slightest, like a half a millimeter of movement. 
I don't know what that is for you Americans and Imperial, but uh, so. So I tightened that one already. Now I'm gonna do this one before going on the road, getting down to the ridge. Motorcycles in the trailer. All right. There's a cotter pin. We gotta take out. There's also a zoom button on that camera. You, if you hit like the, it's like a flower or something. I don't remember. Or you just use your fingers. But anyways, guys, here we go. So we pull the cotter pin. My thumb is so sore. Okay, so it's just hand tight, pretty much. It's tough with the broken thumb. This one, I might need like a wrench for this. It's just, I can't turn it with my thumb. I grabbed uh, 28, which just, you don't need much leverage. You don't need a tool. I'm just gonna do my hand here just to give me a little more leverage. Boom, just the slightest bit of turn. And now I'm down to like a half a millimeter. Just that slightest little movement. Maybe just a tiny bit more. Now you don't want it to be like completely tight, but you don't want it to be loose at all. <laughs> you hear that, Quinn? Uh, I listened to this before. No, dirty comments are fine. I can always edit them out anyways. But you won't. <laughs> but I might not. Okay, we're going? We're at, we live? Okay, so I turned it just like... I don't know, two, three degrees clockwise. It's perfect now. Put the, the cap on, put the cotter pack, the cotter pin back in. And I'm using the same one because I don't have time to go in my toolbox and find a new one. And uh, if, I can get, if I can get it in the hole, let's see. It's pretty big. <laughs> okay, let's get it. Tighten that, just bend it up. We should be zooming in here. You're way too far. I'm away. zoomed. Oh, you're zoomed. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't need to be close. Anyways. Zoomed in there. You zoomed in. Okay. All right. And the final step is uh, add some more lubricant. <laughs> Maybe about 10 pumps? Sure. Pump that. Pump the grease in there. <laughs> and we're good to go. We're all right, I'm ready for the racetrack. It's gonna look like a really gay video, just so you know. <laughs> it's a gay story. <laughs> yeah. It's a gay story, get into the racetrack. Sorry, can't. <laughs> just so you know, that's a gay ass story. <laughs> this is not a story, this is gonna be edited. Oh, you're gonna edit it? Oh, uh, yeah, this yeah. is like the bike build. Oh, this is part of that track. video? Okay. This is gonna be patron, maybe one day. Patron on only. We'll have like 50 people see it, Thomas. Uh -huh. I have to do a premiere with only me and you commenting? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Actually, you missed the last premiere, dude. There was tons of people oh. in there. and it Yeah, was those like, are in the morning. There were I some. know, yeah. which was weird. I'm like, who's... No, nobody's working today. I don't get notifications for that unless I go in and push the bell. So I don't know always. Well, you should... You only have to hit the bell once. I know, but you have a lot of videos. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Trying to make some money. It's hard to remember them yeah. all. Trying to make some income, yo. It's like some nights it's like, new video on Patreon, new video on Patreon, new video on Patreon. Like, Holy fuck. <laughs> so you know Marcel hasn't had enough dates. Yeah. He hasn't had a date in a week. He's got videos coming out of his ass. <laughs> or they're just unedited. Then he goes on one date and nothing for days. And then oh. a girl comes in his vicinity and starts talking about lubricant. Yeah. <laughs> and holes. And hammers. Sorry. It's the best lubricant for the best for the right of the hole. Synthetic. Yeah, synthetic. Always synthetic. Amsoil. You don't think natural is better than synthetic? What, water? <laughs> Not, I have to filter myself here.